Okay, so, hey guys, what's up? It's the Culture Detective here, investigating your favorite places, and today I am back to uh, take a rest from my very intense studies, and I will try to play uh, an urban world this time, because I don't want to spend that much time uh, to uh, look for, f uh, you know, civilization. I don't want to be in the middle of nowhere. So this round, this game should be way easier. So I'm going to be playing an urban world today. And uh, am I am I recording? Oh my god, if I'm not recording. <sighs> all right. All right. Let's let's go. Let's go. Urban world. Let's play. Let's go. Again, no time. No time limit. And we are off to our first location. All right. Um, at first glance, a uh, glance, this place looks somewhat, somewhat, uh, somewhat ghetto, um, somewhat broken. Like like we're in a really broken place right now. Yeah. A lot of uh, graffiti, uh, lots of uh, lots of uh, tables on top, and we have a prioridad, prioridad, priority, and we have a a, a a lane called Jesus, Jesus Lane. So uh, I'm gonna guess, okay, just by first glance, I'm gonna guess this is Southern America. Or at least, um, or at least south of the USA, yeah. All right, I skipped. Uh, I skipped. Uh, there we go, ciudad, ciudad. I don't know if uh, it's called uh, ciudad in Portuguese, but I'm pretty sure it's uh, ciudad in uh, Mexico, and in, in Spanish in general. So I think we can narrow down to that. Yeah, ciudad. All right. So this is a pretty, pretty, um, pretty broken street. Pretty cheap and broken and and uh, kind of poor. Not trying to not trying to poor shame anyone here, but just by observation, this is this is what it looks like. Not very not very urban. Um, not very modern. Right here we got uh, tortelli, tortelleria, yeah. Uh, cool. Uh, and oh, we got a website here. We got a website. Can I get a closer look? Capital Audio, Capital Audio. Huh. Uh, um, I have a feeling that this is Mexico. Um. But only a small feeling. Okay, there we go. We are on the big street. We are on the big street. Oh, it, it just says Mexico right here. It just says Mexico. Uh, Saltillo. Auditorio B. Juarez. And see Jesus. Jesus. Um, so I guess it's Mexico. Because the sign says so. Um, yeah, I think I think it's Mexico. It's very crowded. It's, um, okay, we are in a bigger, more clear area right now. Let's take a look. Guadalajara Centro. Santillo. Avenue Hidalgo. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with Mexico, but, um, I, I can be wrong, you know, it, this place could be, um, I don't know, Chile, Argentina, Peru. Um, let's look at the people. Can I look at the people? Can I look at the people? Okay. I really can't tell. I really can't tell. Um, I really can't tell, to be honest. I really can't tell by, by the people. Um... And I don't think, I don't think I can um, go any further. Further. Okay, this place looks 
slightly more modern now. Um, Edificio Orella, Orelia. Uh, heck? W wouldn't it be funny if this place is in Europe? And, uh, I I think I I think I'm pretty sure this is southern. This is Southern America, yeah, South America. Uh, it, it says Mexico, in the south. It doesn't make any sense. Why? Why is there a road sign pointing towards an entire friggin' country? Unless, I mean, unless, um. Hey, there are some flags. Cool. I like flags. Unless it's referring to uh, Mexico City, yeah. Oh, and here we have a Mexican flag, American flag, and Canadian flag. So I guess we are in North America. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Mexico. Maybe it's maybe it's like north of Mexico City. So um, yeah, but it's a pretty big city, like I, I can tell. Okay, I'm gonna go with uh this one. What if it's like, oh, 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 so we are in Mexico City, but we are in Guadalajara. Yeah, 3,618 points. Okay, not bad, but I hoped that I would get better. All right. Uh Okay, I don't know why is the quality of my recording so bad. Okay, anyways, anyhow, anyhow, now this place looks U European. Now this place looks European, all right? Now this place looks very European, and it's French. Aha, uh -huh. et voila, it's French. Uh, de, de Lille, Maison. De asos okay, I can't speak French. Leave me alone. Um okay, let's see. Tul Bordeaux Bordeaux Eh Clermont Chamalier 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 Sa Salin Saint Jacques Um So I guess we're somewhere near Bordeaux Bor Bordeaux Yeah I think I've been to Bordeaux, but for two hours. Um, okay, we can't be so sure though. We need to look further. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is France. It's very obvious that this is France. Look at the white road signs. Okay. Again, Ma Maison de la Culture. Culture? Culture Detective? Nice. Uh, Ch Chamalier. Jode. 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 Jo, there's a bus bus stop right here. Yeah, it's. I uh, I'm getting a yeah. I think I think it's very likely that it is um. I'd say southern, southern France. I'd say southern. Fresh burritos. All right. Oh, what I can't. Oh, I, I can go. Okay, I I can go this way. I can go this way. Um, can I reach the city center somewhere? Oh, look! It's the Green Cross. It's the Green Cross. Welcome to Northwestern Europe. It's the Green Cross. Uh, outside of the uh, pharmacy, the Apotec. Yeah. Pharmacy, Green Cross. This is a very French thing, but in Belgium, it's also very common to have a green cross. Um, but yeah, this place looks pretty great. Not gonna lie. Other than this crane blocking the view. I mean, I've seen cranes before, but never this low. All right. See, train, see train. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go with um, I'm gonna go with Bordeaux. No wait, is that a, is that a map? 
Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Where, where, where did I just go? Okay, okay, okay. There's a map here. It's either a map or, um, oh, it's not a map. But does it say which city we're at? Uh, rehabilitation, 62. Okay, it doesn't say. It doesn't, doesn't say. Um... Eh, I, uh, doesn't say which city we're in. France is pretty big. I mean, doesn't say. What, the center's there? So I've already been to the center? Okay. If I, if I zoom in on Bordeaux and I see the word Clermont, then, okay, I'm definitely right. I don't think, I don't think I can, I can see any Clermont. Um, okay. You know what? I'm just going to go with Bordeaux. Maybe it's somewhere nearby. Hopefully it's somewhere nearby. Okay. Oh, it's somewhere nearby. That's for sure. But, um, not exactly. Uh, we're in Clermont Ferrand. Clermont Ferrand. Um, oh, that makes a lot of sense. I didn't know that a city called Clermont Ferrand would, would exist. Salon. Loton, uh, yeah, la Pradelle, la Pradelle, centre, oh, ancient center, what the, f oh, okay, cool, 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 okay, this central, south central France, though, okay, oops, okay, still, it's over 4,000, I am, I am happy, I'm a happy boy, all right, next, Next round, where are we? Villa Morgado. Is this Italy? Okay, okay. Look at this guy with his fancy ass suit. Look at their fancy ass suits. Why are they wearing fancy ass suits in the middle of nowhere? This looks like, um... I'm gonna say it's Italy. But it's a very non-touristy Italy, okay? So it's a suburban Italy. Somewhere far away from a city. Okay, I see a sign. I see a sign. Maybe we can have some more conversa cons confirmation. Okay. Cumbria. Cumbria. Wait, Cumbria. Isn't that in Spain? Cum Cumbria? Cumbra. Or am I just going insane? Yeah. Okay, so there's a there's a chance that this is Spain, yeah? Um where's the sign? Where's the road sign? Give me the road sign. Where's the road sign? Eh, it's gone. Oh, trash can. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Exasau? Oh, wait. It, it, it's Combra. And it could be Portuguese. Oh, Coimbra. Coimbra. Oh, it's Coimbra. And it's Portuguese because it's Shao. And both Spanish and Italian don't like to end words with a Shao. So, um... You know, we are in Coimbra. Yeah, and it makes a lot of sense too. Because if it's Italy, it should look older, I guess. So we're in Coimbra in Portugal. Somewhere outskirts. The outskirts of Coimbra. Look at this mildly steep slope. Very interesting. Um, I'm going to go with uh, somewhere south. And, uh, okay, I need to wait for 10 seconds. I'm pretty sure I can get at least a 4,200 for this one. Because I'm in the right city. Um, hopefully more than 4,500. Oh, damn. One kilometer away. One kilometer away. 4,994 points. Not bad at all. And we're uh, somewhere south of Coimbra, of course. I picked this one, um, which is sort of very suburban but it's not a suburban actually we are in 
a place called the Kutada Keira. Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to pronounce any more Portuguese. Uh, Portuguese. Right. All right. Up next. Up next. Casa de Cambio. Seguros USA Max. Um, judging by the roads, the tree here, and the cars, um, and um, I think there's a good chance this is um, Mexico again, near the U.S. border though. Um, but I I'd say there's a higher chance that this is Mexico, and not USA. Okay, but this sign, this sign is telling another story, because one-way signs, they are American, yeah, they are American. Um, well, let's check. Let's check this out. What's this? Family store, the Salvation Army Family Store. Oh, so maybe we're in the USA still, but we're near the Mexican border, and somewhere deserty. So my, so I'm expecting um, maybe um. Yeah, Casanova Automotive Inc. I'm probably somewhere in, say, um, southern Arizona. Uh, maybe uh, New Mexico, you know, Texas, probably. Uh, but I say Arizona more because it has this deserty vibe. And I mean, Texas is also somewhat deserty, but I wouldn't say it's as deserty as this one. Uh, I think it's Arizona. My guess is on Arizona. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Arizona then. But I'm going to, yeah, right here. Oh, it's Texas. I only, dude, dude. Oh, and it's very near the border too. Oh, my God. It's right before the border. Oh, my God. Look at, look at this place. It's all, it's a grid. It's a grid of vertical and horizontal streets. We're in uh, Laredo. Oh my god, we're in Texas. Only 2,000 points? Come on, it's not that far away. Alright. Welp, I don't think I'm able to get uh, 20,000, but hopefully I can get at least 18, 1,800. Uh, 18,000, hopefully. So, um... Banco Municipal... Banco Municipal. Okay, this place, again, it looks very Southern American. Why am I getting a lot of Southern American stuff? Oh, but then we have the green square here. The green cross. The green cross. Why is the green cross doing in Southern America? What the heck? We have a green cross in here. Gabriel Chumpitas. Why is there a green cross? Look at these garbage bins. Pretty fancy. Okay, so again, we could be in Southern America. We could be in Spain. But then again, if we are in Spain or Portugal, it should look a little more friendly, I feel like. I um, feel like, um, yeah, I feel like it should look... A little more friendly if it's if it's Spain or Portugal, and I think it should look a little more modern or more well developed. Yeah. Okay, so we're different. We're definitely not in the city center right here, and I don't know how to get there. But oh, look at these trees! Look at the row of trees. Oh, oh, and all the trees are bald. Okay. Farmacia Perfumeria. Um I can't tell. I mean again the green cross the green cross threw me off. Could be Spain, could be northern Spain, you know, somewhere near France. You know, maybe they have the green cross as well. 
Uh, or maybe the Green Cross is trying to trick me and we're actually in Southern America. But then you look at these trees. You, you normally wouldn't expect these trees to be in to be in Southern America, you know? These trees feel European. But then you look at the electric, electric cables on top and you think, well, if we are in Spain or Portugal, it should, be, it should look way better than this. I mean, come on. Ferreteria Bulloneria, yeah. I have no idea. Get me to the city center? Where's the city center? Get me to the city center. Okay, now I'm back again. What the heck? Ha, huh, I really can't tell. This this is tough. This is really tough. I've never been to South America. And um the baby shop. Yeah, I've never been to South America. Nor have I been to Spain, so I can't tell. I re I really can't tell. Um, this is really tough. Turismo. I mean, let's 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 look at the people. There are a lot of white folks in here. Most of them are white. Some of them are not really white, but most of them are white. Most of them are white. Um I'm so confused. I don't think that really helped all that much to be honest. I, oh, what the hell, what, where are we? Wow, this place looks dark, like literally, no lights, so dimly lit, oh, there we go, now it's bright again, sunshine, where's the city center? Are we really this far away from the city center? Are we really this far away? from the city center. Which way feels more central? I don't know, I'm gonna go here, yeah? Oh, is that, oh, I see, um, I see a country domain name. Is that, is that AR or AT? Is that, oh, then could it be Argentina? Yeah, it could be Argentina. You know, and, and, you know, it explains why most people are white. Because we're in Argentina. Well, actually, well, I am not sure if uh, a majority of the population of uh, Argentina is Caucasian or not. But um, uh, this could very well be Argentina. Yeah, so we're in South, South America. But then again, we have the Green Cross. Okay, I think we're somewhere near the city center. Philomena? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to go with uh, Argentina. And uh, hopefully I'm right. Are there any more clues, though? That's the, that's the problem. I don't know. I've I've never been to South America, let alone Argentina, and I really don't know what Argentina looks like. I really can't tell. Uh but I'm going to guess it is uh Argentina because of the country domain name and these trees too. You'd imagine that these trees exist in colder regions and regions with higher elevation. So Argentina would make a lot of sense. I'm going to go with Argentina. And um, somewhere with higher elevation probably. 
Um, but I, I don't know. Argentina is a long country, okay? Oh, so it is in Argentina. And we are in the city of a... Oh, Rosario. Oh, it's a, it's a city. It's a city. I didn't know that. It's a city. Oh, that explains, like, like the whole, the way the city is planned, it's a, it's an entire grid, it's all, um, perpendicular lines, like, oh, Rosario, okay, hey, 1700, not, not as bad, oh, 1800, 18,000, duh, 18,000, not that bad, and I think I got every country right, I think I got every single country right, yeah, Including the one in United States because the the location is technically still United States. So uh, I got the United States one correct. So I got the um shoot why is it oh my gosh okay there we go what the heck why is it so okay but yeah I got all the countries correct. But uh, I didn't get I didn't get over twenty thousand, unfortunately. All right, thanks for watching.